Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel this evening. On the next piece we're about to do, it's an abstract acrylic pour, and we're going to use some rainbow colors, but we're not going to swipe and we're not going to blow them out. We're going to wreck them. And I'm excited about this piece because it just, it makes my heart smile. So we have a white in the back background. We're going to pour the colors and then we're going to flick them or wreck them. And then we'll be uh, adding a little embellishment, but hope you uh, enjoy this journey. The dried results of this piece are quite interesting. I love it. I think it's super cute. I showed it to a friend of mine and she said it reminded her of like an old cartoon of dancing like Fantasia or just fun characters that were just dancing. Um, so super cute. I'll bring you in for a little, a couple areas here. Um, I, the twists at the top, I think are, are just fun, right? There's just little colorful twists in the, the composition that I think are super cute. I like the dots. I think those turned out great. Um, it certainly has a, a perspective, this piece. I, I just, it makes me smile. It makes me laugh and therefore I love it. Thank you for stopping by. Enjoy the process next. Find your bliss. Okay, we've got our color laid down and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put piles of color. And I am gonna use um, some elements of uh, a rainbow look, right? So, Roy G. Biv. <laughs> G. Orange. I'll figure it out. And what I have is I have two colors. So I have a metallic or a pearl or uh, something that is shimmery of the same color. So I've got Rose Mater and then I've got a red metallic. I've got a Vermilion from Amsterdam. A Rose Mater was Arteza. And then I've got Arteza Tangerine Orange. Pearl Tangerine Orange. I've got um, Amsterdam's Primary Yellow. Nope, I used the other one. Azo Yellow Deep. And then I've got, um, actually this color is very pretty and I didn't even realize I had it. It's called Arteza Pearl Golden Hour. And it's a beautiful color. Um, I've got an emerald green mix that I made up from Amsterdam and then I've got metallic forest green from Arteza. I've got um, a cerulean blue, ultra cerulean blue and primary cyan mix from Amsterdam. And then I've got an electric blue from Arteza, pearl. And then I've got Soho's Dioxazine purple. And I have no idea what this purple is. It's a shiny purple that's lighter than <laughs> the Dioxazine purple, which is why it's in the mix. So we're going to do a little bit of puddle pooling. So there's the Rose Mater. And then I'm going to do the orange. And I know this doesn't make sense yet, so bear with me. There's our yellow. And we may need to add more colors as we go, or more of the colors, rather. Oh, I wanted that a little bit, the black. Um, and then we're going to get the blue. Yeah, I think we definitely need a little more of that red. Then we're going to do the purple. Okay. Yeah. So I definitely want to add more of the red and the orange. Looks like stoplight colors are, oh, good lord. Did you guys see that? I almost did the yellow and the orange. Um, that would have been funny in a bad way. Okay, so now that we've got kind of the spots, for lack of a better term, I'm gonna highlight the opposite spot with the shimmery color. So that's the metallic red. This is gonna be that, what did I call it, tangerine? Yeah, to kind of make the blending moment here but to, to bridge the colors. That's that golden hour. Um, super pretty color. I didn't even realize I had it. This is the metallic forest green. This is the electric blue. <gasps> okay. Um, just got that on the black. 
but we know we can fix sides later. Just uh, making sure it's got a little paint here on the edge. That was unfortunate. And then we've got this lighter purple color. Okay. Then what we're going to go do is go back through and highlight um, the other direction. So I'm going to put a pop of, ooh, got a bubble on that orange. Pop of the orange there. The red is actually going to come over here, if that makes sense, if it wrapped around. The vermilion, let's see. Where's the vermilion going? Going to here. Yeah. The yellow is going on this side. The green is going on the other side of the metallic green. And then the blue should go on the other side of the blue. And then that weird purple, the Barney purple, would be just a little bit up here. Okay, looking crazy and strange, I know. And honestly, this is almost like begging me to swipe. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way, but that wasn't the intention. That wasn't what I was gonna do with the piece. Maybe I'll do another one where I do a swipe again with the split base like this. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna flick these colors. And I'm not going to use a very big tool for this flick, so I'm just getting my palette knife here. These are about the same size. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to go down. And we're going to go up, up, up. And I didn't go down on these yet. Well, that didn't go very far. See what ha what we've got here. We've got a lot of interplay of the colors here. That is definitely not torch. There we go. do um, and this is uh, this is like a wing and a prayer I kind of like to spin this I kind of definitely would like to spin it um, <laughs> we've not tried to spin a 20 by 30 canvas in on my little spinner on this table have a spinning box for the bigger ones um, but we're gonna we're gonna attempt it see what happens there is no stretcher bar under this so in theory I should be able to pull out my stands here and this works <sighs> we 
you just grab it here in the center. Good Lord. Okay, I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Let me get the stands out of the way for a second. But I kind of feel like it just needs to go a little bit. Okay, I don't have any way to grab it to get that paint to move. So I think what we're gonna have to do is just pick a white corner and go for it. There we go, we've got some paint moving now. Ooh, all right. Yeah, that like, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's, that's what I wanted to make it do. Okay, I like this. Um, I really like it. it. It turned out really good, yay. Um, I would like to do a couple dots. sunk didn't it a lot of the colors really sunk so I might just leave it the way it is and put those in when it dries I'm really happy with the way this turned out I like all the twisting that's happening um, I don't know if you guys can see that so tell you what I'll bring you down and you can take a look here this is my viewer perspective love that little section up there the little twist on the orange and the yellow, super cute, like that. Um, all of the green and the blue interplay. Lots of little twists up there. You can kind of see how it goes out from the sections. But this is really a piece you gotta see from the whole perspective. So hopefully you guys can see that. And uh, Hopefully it'll dry great. Thanks for stopping by everyone. Find your bliss.